Oh. Alright. This could be a huge map already. Kind of difficult to. Uh... Uh, there's like no big like mother packs or zombie packs here. Any those? And a sedge. I need to be careful with my uh, UE six uh, four piece bonus here. Let's see how my damage is. We are playing this right now with like passability and so much toughness and I don't know. 10 billion toughness by the way. Actually this goes pretty well. Seems like I have to damage it, I just like blast with this stuff. Maybe I should play this with Endless Walk. Just stand there. <laughs> I don't want to do another Endless Walk action. There should be more damage on the boss here as well. It seems to be a pretty easy push actually, but the boss side will be somewhat long. I expect like 4 minutes plus on single targets. Do one here. If you do double, we can probably kill all these packs. We have moths. Just have to be nice. Uh, maybe we can kill those two blue packs at least and get like close to 100 stacks again. It'd be nice to go to floor 2 with this progression. If all the moths are here. These guys are getting stuck behind the armor dons, dude. Holy. In the illu. Kinda sucks. Okay. Kill them off at least. Ah, that's not too bad. I would like to get the raccoonies though. Okay, I can do a large pull here. No pile in it seems.
it's nowhere near 120 monsters. I'm not gonna do it anyway though. It will just take too long to pull anything around. It's close enough actually. Gonna get like 75. Pylons though. Are you serious? Did we spawn a pylon here on the left? Maybe we spawned one and didn't look. Probably actually, I should go back and see what it was. Wait, 43%. Can we go for double ring here? Try to kill the yellow and the terminus. Okay, I have serious issue with my swimming screen. Uh, I should probably go the other rune. Displacement. I'm not running fast enough here. Okay, here we go. That's the second one. I'm going back real quick and see. I should have checked this earlier. Gotta say, the Sound of 50 looks way easier than I thought. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. I have a shield now for the next two minutes, so we can easily spawn. There's a channeling. Some of damage. Yeah, I should probably run this with snow screen displacement just so we can get out of the poles more easily. I can barely reset my Forbes bonus sometimes. It's a big problem here. Yeah. I don't have enough movement speed. Nice blue here, lots of trash. Let's try not to overdo it. Looks fine though. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty tight. Okay, <laughs> holy. I always do like this ball here, and that's it.
not pressing my advantages on purpose because I have a higher attack speed multiplier if I'm multi shot. And the Vengeance can steal my stricken stacks and give me a longer cooldown on stricken. So for now, I'm not gonna press it. Let's see if, like, what is that, four and a half minutes is enough for the boss? It might not be actually. <laughs> we'll see. Of me at least. Ah, oh, we get resources from the Quest Flame. When the Templar gets hit. I forgot about that. It's nice. It looks like we have enough time. It's going down already slowly. Deadman soon. Size done. Got it. He's dying fast enough. This is again, like in both rifts, right? In Impale and in Motorshot, we had no power and no corny, right? <laughs> it was like each time... Oh, wait, how many keys was this? We had three keys on the Impale and eight keys on this one. Which I got Oryx and did it. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess my job here is done, guys. That was fun, though. I will do another one just because. Surprisingly good, actually. I didn't expect it to be that easy with Muldershot. Just gonna leave this there. 